What is going on guys, Mirka with Word Tech, and today I have a what's in my tech bag video. So as you guys are going to see throughout this video, comparing my setup and Ethan's setup, it's two different setups completely actually. His setup is more for the staying overnight desktop gaming build, while mine is more for the productivity side, whether it's for my school or my internship. So for my school and my internship, I'm majoring in computer science or software engineering and mechanical engineering, which is a lot of math based and uh, computer programming in which that this setup does a wonderful job on, which is really nice because this setup is not too heavy with the amount of stuff I have to carry. So guys, let's go see what's in my tech bag. So the first thing out of my bag is the TI-89 calculator by Texas Instrumental. It is a really good calculator. Most of you guys probably use this for calculus, but I'm using it for the engineering side. So there are different kind of things for calculations like RLC circuits, AC circuits, polyphase circuits, a whole lot of different kind of circuits. Uh, they do a lot of computer engineering stuff on here and you can do a lot of transmission lines and kind of stuff. Um, it's really nice to have this calculator to double check your calculations after doing them by hand because you could be off by a mathematical error, which is really bad when in mechanical engineering. So guys, my choice of hard drive is gonna be the Western Digital Passport. I chose this because it's really small, compact, and it looks good, except for the point that now it is flaking and it's kinda of looking all scratched up. But anyways, it does its job. So the original reason why I bought this hard drive was Basically, again, for productivity, that's what I like to buy most of my stuff for. Uh, it saves all my videos that I make, I back them up on there, and I'm booting off of three different uh, OS's off of there. I have Ubuntu, Red Hat I believe it's called, and I have my company server OS. It's three different versions of Linux that I'm running off of an Oracle box. So guys, my choice of mobile phone is gonna have to be the iPhone 6S. Now, I know I'm gonna get bashed on for having an iPhone, but actually, this thing works wonders for me. Everyone in the office uses iMessage and FaceTime, and I was always losing that kind of option when I was using Android, so I decided to make the switch over because there's so many group chats, so many different reasons why I needed to use FaceTime, and switching over to iPhone really helped it, especially when I'm on job sites and stuff. Uh, when I ever have to, you know, like show a problem that I'm having, I can just FaceTime my boss and then after that he'll be able to help me over FaceTime because he's able to see what I'm seeing. So guys, this red notebook that I have here is just basically something that I use to jot things down or doing unit testing. If any one of you guys are into software engineering or computer science, you guys know unit testing is huge. Uh, we are, we are developing this single program that only does minimal work towards a motor and transmission line for a wind turbine and we have over 1200 different unit tests just for a minimal program 1200 unit tests and i've always used these kind of notebooks to kind of jot down different results that we get for unit testing so guys for my choice of laptop i'm going to be using the acer spire v15 laptop it is sporting a i5 6250u i believe it is and it has a gtx 940m so it's a pretty decent laptop I normally use this laptop for when I'm doing coding on the go or I'm doing coding at my internship. Uh, a lot of the times I'm either using Visual Studios or I'm using one of the three different kind of Linux builds that I have built in. Especially with my homework assignments, I'm also doing those on Linux. So really this is a really good laptop. Um, when I'm ever using my Oracle VM boxes, I can get about four to five hours of battery life on it, which is really ideal for me for having a full day of school or a full day at the office. Lastly guys, going over my bag, I have the Everkey Beacon bag that I purchased four years ago and it's still held up wonders for me for only $80. So the nice thing about this bag is you guys can see like Ethan's Everkey Titan. There are a bunch of different pockets that you guys could be putting stuff in. So I like to hold all my cables, wires and stuff basically in the pouches that are closest to the opening of the bag, which I have four different pouches. And then after that on the inside, I like to keep my books and my calculator there. Going over to the inside of the backpack, we have a really, really nice padded back end backpack that you could fit basically a full desktop size laptop like Ethan's in the back. It's really nice because you can really put everything in there and you can feel real nice and safe about it because of the great padding on it. And even the cool thing about this laptop is on the bottom of it, you guys have a little pouch so you guys can take out a rain bag and wrap the whole backpack around in. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of the what's in my tech bag. Now you guys sort of have a sense of what I'm carrying around in my bag day to day when I'm going to school or whether it's my internship. So guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for 600 subscribers. 
And also, I was thinking about doing some C++ tutorials for live coding. Let me know how you guys feel about that. Um, the thing about C++ is I don't know where to start with it, and so many people teach it different ways. I can teach you guys the ways that my professor taught me and going to school for CS, but there could be one way that another person teaches you, but if you guys wanted to see videos on that, I'd be more than happy to do videos on those because those are really fun videos to do. So guys, like I said before, thank you guys for 600 subscribers. If you guys liked the video, please leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.